The chair of the supermarket pricing inquiry has threatened to hold the outgoing boss of Woolworths in contempt following a fire exchange about Woolies profit margins. Business reporter Amelia Turzon has been following developments and she joins us now. G'day Amelia, what's spurred on this threat? Good morning. A very tense two hours in the Senate this morning. It all started around 9.20 this morning when Brad Banducci was being asked by the chair of the supermarket pricing inquiry, Senator Nick McKim, if he knows the return on equity on the supermarket. Uh, Mr Banducci referred uh, the senator to other measures of managing the or measuring the profitability of Woolworths and said that that return on equity was not something that he generally relied on to measure the profitability of Woolworths. And this just went back, back and forth and back and forth. And eventually we led to uh, this quite staggering moment where the senator started to say to Brad Banducci, I have to remind you, if you don't answer a simple yes or no of whether you know this figure or not, we might have to threaten you with contempt. Uh, here is the moment that really saw this spurn off, just here. Repeatedly refused to answer my question on return on equity. I, I feel compelled to advise you that it is open to the Senate to hold a witness in contempt when they refuse to answer a legitimate question. Having said that, I ask you again, is your return on equity in the last financial year about 26 per cent? Senator, I've answered the question many times. You have not answered the question, Mr Banducci. On Honestly, I'm, I'm not interested in your spin or your bullshit. This is a Senate inquiry. Well, as you have heard there, quite a fiery exchange. And this just went on for so long in the Senate. It eventually reached the point where uh, the inquiry went to a break for 15 minutes. It then came back. And after only just a few minutes, uh, we actually had the Senator Nick McKim there, the Green Senator who's chairing this inquiry, decide that they were going to break uh, to discuss potentially what they were going to do about this situation. Uh, here is what happened next. I think your evidence to the committee is you don't know what the return on equity was for Woolworths in the last financial year and you would like to take the question on notice. Could you please just answer yes or no whether that is your evidence to the committee? Senator, yes, I will take it on okay. notice and we will come back and provide... No, no, but yes, just to be clear, yes, when you say yes, that is yes, I do not know, and yes, you will take it on notice. Are you answering yes to both parts of that question? Yes, Senator. OK, thank you, Mr Banducci. You don't know what the ROE um, for Woolworths is. An interesting morning in the Senate there as uh, Green Senator Nick McKim uh, speaks with uh, Woolies boss Brad Banducci. I can see, Amelia, that this inquiry is uh, back underway. What are the other things that Woolworths has been grilled about? So apart from that very long debate about a very technical financial measurement of a company. We also had Woolworths asked about allegations that have already been heard in this inquiry about whether it participates in land banking, which is essentially when a company goes in and buys up a site purely so it can st uh, stick on it and other people can't go into that area. Uh, Mr Banducci uh, denied that Woolworths is participating in land banking. We also have had quite a lot of questions in the later half of this morning about the supermarket's behaviour towards its suppliers. Uh, we've previously had evidence from growers such as citrus and orange growers saying that they're feeling uh, squeezed. Again, uh, Mr Banducci said that no, they believe that they're fair in their dealings with suppliers. However, he did say that they are working on how they deal with less sophisticated uh, producers. We also had this other very interesting moment where one of the senators was being texted by a grower mid-hearing uh, to relay information to Mr Banducci. Uh, as you mentioned there, this is still going. Uh, not sure if we're going to have any more threats of contempt this morning, but it's definitely been a very fiery day.